watching Saturday Night Live, okay? And the musical guest is One Direction. Now, me being Mr. Independent Alternative Guy, I'm like, ah, I'll still watch, whatever. So One Direction comes out and they perform a song called The Story of My Life. I had not heard the song yet. So when the song's over, I turn to my wife and I say, that's an awesome song. I think I've become a One Direction fan. Jamie wrote that song, just so everyone knows. I wrote it just for you. What's that? I wrote it just for you so you could become a One Direction fan. That's, you, it, that was it my, worked. That was, that was my intention. I got my 1D tattoo right here. I'll show you later. I was reading a quote in reference to your, uh, to your new album. You said, if I don't care if anyone hears this, I'm just desperate to write this piece of music. I, I think it's important when you get to that point and you're not trying to write a hit. You just write what you're feeling. And, and is that accurate? Is that I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'd be pretty disappointed if no one heard it. Yeah. You know? True. The first song I'm going to play today, I wrote before I met Tommy seven years ago. And it's kind of, it felt like, um, it just felt like time, it just felt a bit unfinished. The fact that I had these songs just waiting there and I, I you know, I wanted to make a record. And so that's what I did. Good segue. <clears throat> Let's hear uh, Gold from the new album. For sure. Bathed in crimson, got caught in blue, and I chased this green for hard unused by tonight.
Why did it take seven years for that one to finally uh, see the light of day?